So today I wanted to share with you the topic of uncertainty. You know, I have a lot of people who are on this journey, you know, if it's yourself, you know, you're always having questions in your mind, such as, will I ever become a mother? When will this happen for me? You know, what's wrong with my body? Why is this all so hard? And this uncertainty, this negativity, this roller coaster of emotions, and this negative self-talk is always something that sounds all too familiar, right? However, one thing that we can be certain of in this life is actually uncertainty. And, you know, that is usually outside of our control. However, there are many things that we can do to actually, you know, have control over. This is especially true when it comes to infertility. So you may be asking yourself, how do I have more certainty? How can I, you know, not fear the uncertain? How can I be better at dealing with uncertainty? And how can I handle this better? So the first thing we need to do is actually to have a different perspective. And this could be, you know, things like, you know, as hard as it may be, is to actually be comfortable with the reality that uncertainty is going to be there. So instead of fearing it, to really understand it, understand the things that we have control over, such as, you know, what we eat, you know, the specific thought patterns that are happening in our mind. You know, we can control what we listen to, our own self-talk, and really focusing and paying attention to what is happening in our mind. You know, focusing also our attention on the relationships and people around us, people that care about us. And even your own self-care, you know, really taking the time to exercise, you know, to, to, to have self-care, to spend time in nature, you know, perhaps it's going for a nice massage or a facial or whatever it is that um, that you do to enjoy, you know, um, time for yourself, dancing perhaps, right? Other techniques we could adopt is to perhaps meditate quietly, you know, be aware of all the thoughts that are happening, you know, perhaps write them down on a piece of paper. You know, when we write them down, we're able to help to understand and to acknowledge our emotions and our feelings, which is very overwhelming at times, but it can be very cathartic and it can be very therapeutic to, to have them written down so that we understand where it's coming from and have that awareness. And again, you know, if it becomes all too difficult to get in touch with a coach or a practitioner or someone that is able to support you along this journey. And, you know, I'm here for many of my fertility clients. So if that's yourself, please feel free to reach out. However, the lesson at the end of the day is to actually be fine with uncertainty and how we can best manage that. And instead of sort of fighting against it and fearing it, is that, you know, it's something that we got to learn to, to live with and to, to embrace um, in this time of absolute uncertainty. So I hope that was helpful and thank you for listening.